This is Monday, September 19th, 8.26 a.m. Okay, Jim and I have both been very sick since, since last Thursday. I personally have been sick since Friday. You know. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, I started after Jim, but we've both been really sick. Anyways, I haven't been keeping up with checking everything because of it had a fever intestinal thing anyways but I got up this morning and looked out here and saw a third something with the, with these marbles so I came out and looked I haven't touched it yet but oops um it appears to be some kind of a Possibly a berry. Let me see. No. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a, it's a bead. <laughs> I couldn't see. Oh, cool. Nice. See, they put it with the other round things because that's what they do. Association. Very nice. The only thing that surprises me about where they put it is those two marbles are darker and they put it with the lighter ones. Oh boy. Alright, I'm going to have to go. Take care of myself because I'm still sick. So, anyways, this is very lovely to find. Okay, yesterday I changed some things up here and we're leaving. Jim's waiting on me out front so I gotta make this quick. But this is a key chain thing. Okay, and I put it here. No, here. It was here. Anyways, it was down here. This morning when I came out and looked, that's where it was. So just um, sometime this morning, it's uh, 12 now, they came up and, and put that there. <laughs> Pretty cool. Put it back, see what, if they do it again. This is Tuesday, September 27th, 7.43 a.m. So... Got up, checked things. First thing I noticed, they hung the keychain thing back up. <laughs> so apparently that's where it goes. Now, I haven't seen them hang a lot of stuff there before. I wonder if it's got anything to do with me hanging this blue bag here. So... I think I'm going to put it back again. Let's see if they do it again. <laughs> Not sure what else to do. Oh, that grass came up. Uh, see anything else? I'm going to go check, check the rest of the yard. It's now 6.39. It has been raining and windy. It's quit now. I came out to check things. And they hung it up again. <laughs> Apparently this is where it belongs. I think I'll just leave it here. I wonder if they're doing it so they can do this. <laughs> the other thing fell off, I think. 
I'm not sure if it fell off or if they did it, but I'm figuring it fell off. I'll look around and see if there's anything else. It's Friday, September 30th, 6.12 p.m. Okay, Jim and I and Bitsy and Amy were all out here together. And I went inside for a few minutes. And Jim opened the door to come in and bit or Amy just went flying in the door weren't in like she wanted in bad so Jim goes you better go check stuff out there because <laughs> she wanted in like now like seriously wanted in so I did I came out here and checked and they were up here in this pair of shoes is an acorn. Isn't that cute? That is so sweet. So I can't guarantee that that wasn't in there earlier, but I did not see it. So I did notice that these are separated some because I've had them together. So I think they've been kind of messing with them. She must be intrigued. So yeah. I believe they were just up, like within five minutes. Did that. Scared the bejesus out of Amy. <laughs> oh, okay. I wanted to take a couple more pictures before I took this out. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, it's wet. Hmm. Couldn't have been in there too long if it's wet. I don't believe it rained today. This is Sunday, October 2nd, 8.56 p.m. Okay, so I've been inside all day working on the computer. I was sorting through family pictures and stuff that we want to print. I haven't been out here all day to check things since this morning. And Bigfoots were up at some point because, number one, they arched the slinky. It was up there, and I moved it down here um, this morning, I think. I also moved that little doll thing down. It was sitting up, but now it's laying down. However, been windy so the wind could have done that but besides them arching that the Bigfoot dolls are messed up they're all moved except the daddy um, these two are moved and the one that's the third largest is under the bench So I don't know what that means, but I think I'm going to put them back, Let's see if anything happens overnight. Oh, one more thing. Um, there's a little piece of leaf in this shoe. It's the same shoe that the acorn was in. So I don't know if, if it just blew in there or if they put it in there. I'm not really sure. I just found something else that they did. There was a blue, like a velvety little bag that's been out here. And it blows around quite a bit. <laughs> it's been just nothing but windy lately. So it's been blowing off, I think, is what's been going on. But I just found it. <laughs> up here in the basket <laughs> so apparently they put that in there too sorry yeah there's nothing nothing in it so they didn't put anything in it so 
That's cool. Sorry, I got lights and cameras and all right. Uh, I think I'll put that there. Kind of tuck it under. Maybe that'll keep it from blowing away. Or actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Put it under this magnet. Now I know it won't blow away. I think I'll take this leaf out just in case they put it in there. Uh, I guess I'll fix this back. Maybe they'll do it again. Sit her up. Okay. All set. They have not touched this or messed with this, which I was, I had high hopes. I was hoping they would make their own thing, but they didn't. All right, I've left that there, and I don't know if they put it there so they can pull it down or what, but okay, chilly out here. It's Monday, October 3rd, 8.21 a.m. Okay, so I just got up and came out here, and the first thing I noticed was right here in in this chair. The chair that used to be my chair. <laughs> the one I sat in all the time. Um, now, last night when I came out here, it was dark. So, when I found everything that had been done last night possible that I missed this and this was here last night but I'm not sure um, I know I didn't see it it's possible that they came back and made this during the night it's also possible that this is just something that fell from the tree but in my opinion it looks very arranged and purposeful First of all, it is right in the middle of my chair. And secondly, when you look at it, it is two sticks and a little clump of seeds. And they're just arranged very artistically and beautiful. So. To me, I just don't know how this could have happened on its own. If it was all together or one thing, I would say it would be more likely that it fell from the tree, but this just looks arranged. Like I said, very beautiful, so this is uh, really a nice find. Okay, I just found something else. It's kind of weird. I don't know for sure if this was them or if this was just something that was here and I didn't notice it. It's a pile of rocks here. And honestly, we used to have two planters here. trying to think and I emptied the planters and then Jim picked up the, the clumps of dirt because they were heavy and he threw them over there I do not I mean I stood here and watched him I do not remember seeing these but I suppose it's possible that they were in the planter People do put those down sometimes in the bottom of a planter. Hmm. I'm trying to think, I didn't see any though in those clumps. And Jim picked them up and threw them away. Did 
just like this one. One back there, but I don't know. I mean, I've been out here several times since we did that, and I don't remember seeing those. Um, one thing that's rock related that I've been doing, and it's actually kind of gross, but instead of my normal method of getting rid of slugs that I find, I've been taking a rock, <laughs> this is, I'm sorry, it's gross, it's awful, but, uh, and I smashed them against, I would lay them on the flat rock take that rock and smash them. So maybe they think I'm really into rocks right now. I, I mean, this is all speculation. Like I said, this could just be something I just didn't notice before. But I find that kind of hard to believe. I had Jim ask his mom if uh, she had put those rocks in there because he's over there right now. And she said she really can't remember, but she doesn't think so. So, anyhow, that's a little update on that. Okay, Jim and I are in our woods and we walked up here to find this big, awesome tree that we like to come to. It's just massive, old, and when we got up here, we saw this tree stand, which is fairly new. We didn't put it here, but other people do hunt the land, so. Um, then I noticed this big leaner right beside the tree stand, and Get a better shot of that from here. And then most awesome is this right over here by that tree. A great big twist. Now I've observed and a lot of other people have commented on this too that when somebody puts it tree stand up, you will find sign all around it. So, zoom in on that again. Uh, it's backlit. Okay. This is the other side of it. I'll walk around. That tree is massive. Huh? Down there, those breaks up high. Jim just noticed this just past. See the trees right here? The huge one. Kind of looks like some breaks right there. This would be the perfect place for, the, for a Bigfoot to come and sit up in this huge tree. Right? What? So this would be the perfect place for a Bigfoot to come sit up in this huge tree. Maybe keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here's the tree bait break, uh, twist. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna go around. Hmm. Losing my footing. <laughs> mm. 
We're figuring it's probably at least 12 feet up, maybe 14. And I could walk. Okay. And I'm back to where it's back with again. Oh, that's pretty good. Here's Jim beside that tree. It's just so big. Just had to have him stand there to show you. Okay, I walked over to look at these more closely. And I'm having a hard time seeing. And uh, there's also a break right here. I have no idea if this is Bigfoot related, but right here under this tree is a, I think it's a cow skull and a bone. But there's cows over here and they die, so it could have happened naturally. For sure. Or even if it did die, maybe they, they've been eating it. I don't know. There's a cool knot on that. It's actually on the root of the tree. I don't believe I've ever seen that before. On the root. Okay, we came down the hill heading for the four-wheeler. Stopped here. I thought this was one branch that grew like that, but it's not. It's two. They're kind of interwoven right here together. I even pulled because I thought they were one and they didn't come apart. While we were standing here, we heard a whistle from over there. Don't know what it was. Okay, I walked this way, and this is an old break. Several years ago, I came over here and explored. This whole hill was full of sign, and that was one of them. But that, like I said, that's old. old break I just showed you is right over here and there's another one another old one like I said this whole hill was full of sign there were arches up there towards the top there was logs woven and it was crazy all kinds of stuff Okay, this probably has nothing to do with Bigfoot, but it just happens to be a blue Marlite balloon ripped to shreds right here. <laughs> There's the tree with the root ball I was showing you. I'm going up here to check this out. There's the pond. I'm going to head up there. So I'll start recording again if I find something interesting. Okay, just to give you an idea where I am. Oh, i got to catch my breath. Those are those two tree breaks beside each other. And then... 
there's another one, the little one. And I don't know if we can see it right back up in there is where I'm trying to go to see that X. There's that tree you were talking about. I think I'll walk up there too after I check out this X. Yes. That does look pretty interesting. Natural? I don't know. It's old. Like I said, they were up here cutting some wood several years back. But that looks pretty squatchy to me. like an X and a, maybe an asterisk, is that what they call it? What is up in that tree? Oh my god. It's a bone. Back out, what the heck? Good lord, what the? Why is there a bone clear up there? I hope this is showing. It's up against the sky, so it's going to be underexposed because the sky is bright. But heck, what in the world? I'm going to take some pictures of that. Maybe I'll, with my good camera, so I can set the exposure. And yeah, that's interesting. What in the world? It's like a vertebrae. Rab? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Huh. Well, that makes me think this could be Sasquatch related. Even more. Okay, I'm going to shut this off and take some pictures. Before I leave this hill though, I wanted to show you what that X looks like from this side of it, up on the hill. X asterisk, whatever you want to call it. Now with the crazy bone up in it. Okay. Okay, I just had to show you 
as I went down the hill and looked over there, that even looks more like an X. Okay, I just noticed these, I saw the arch closest to me first. Now I see another one. I'm going to go see if those, what, I don't know. I don't know if they got pinned when that tree fell. I'm going to go check it out. Okay, on my way up there, I saw this. And I thought it was deadfall. And it may be, because there's a tree. I don't know if it came off of that one or not, but... Look over here. Zoom back out. It's really wedged in there. And it didn't come from that tree. Step back. So it's wedged in there. Sorry, I'm on a steep hill. I keep losing my footing. It's wedged in there and up there. In that tree, making a I don't know, horizontal branch of some sort. And it's right beside these arches. And yeah, I suppose that could have happened when that tree fell. Kind of seems like, see, those trees maybe came down with those, but I don't know. That looks kind of crazy. I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm going to get up closer so I'm not recording into the sky. Okay, I don't know. You tell me. There's that one. Up there's that one. But look right over there. That's a break that looks pretty fresh. So I'm going to go check that out just in a minute. I'm going to walk up there. Take a closer look at this stuff. These arches. There's that horizontal log from up, up above it. Okay, now that I'm up here, I'm not so sure this was all natural. Because, I don't know, that tree is broke. It's a really big one. So that could be natural. But it's... In between those trees over there, which is kind of crazy. And then that's what... Whoops, sorry. That's where that upper arch is, and it's pinned up there from a different tree. A bunch of brush and stuff. And then that's the other arch. The first one I saw.
Okay. Can't really say one way or the other about this. Whoop. Oh, there, look at that. That looks like an X. Made with a grapevine and a branch. And then there's that tree from over there. See, I'm right under this arch. There's that X. There's the other arch over there. And that. How in the heck did that happen? Okay, that's why I don't know if this is natural, because how did this giant part of that tree over there break? Fall in here. There's the end of it. Fall in there. But it's also wedged in the branches of this other tree. The end of it, way down there. So what, I'm not sure what went on here. Maybe some of you guys can explain it to me. <laughs> I mean, there's another arch looking thing up there. I don't know. I have no idea what if it's natural or not. I'm gonna come down here and look at this. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get used to this zoom. I want to go see that break right there because it looks fresh. Let's go look. It's pretty fresh. And I'm a little under five feet and it's <laughs> a good three or four feet up from my head. It's probably eight, nine feet up there then. That break. Interesting. And then there's that arch. It just came from that arch. Better. Like I said, it's been a couple of years since I was up here at least. I'm looking at it. I see this tree is broken and it's lodged in between those trees and it's got these ones leaning on it. So like I don't know if these fell and pulled that down lodged it in there which made that arch uphill <laughs> not really making a lot of sense but I suppose it's possible look in amongst all this there's a limb wedged in between those two trees 
And then down there, there's one leaning against that. There's more of that balloon. There's another stick leaning. I just don't see that arching that much just from it being just from that going out you know maybe maybe this is all I hate to say it because I don't want to be somebody making something out of nothing but is it possible that this was constructed to be this way I mean, we got that thing down there, and then this is horizontal, and it's actually kind of pretty the way it's made. Like I said, I don't want to be a crazy, crazy person making something out of nothing, but at the very least, it's interesting. There's another. There's another stick limb going on the other side of this down through there kind of like that one was I mean so this all happened when this just fell they're looking down the Log, that's what it looks like. And then over there were those brakes. Okay, I'm up here at the arch, and there's how it looks if you're standing under the arch. That is cool. But over there's an arched over tree or something. Let's go look at that. Okay, it's bent over and it's being held down by that. Whether that happened naturally, I can't say for sure. But since it's with all this other stuff, chances are it's not natural. Oops. There's a lot more going on right there too. I can't see it too good from this side. Look at that. So pretty. I always felt like this was almost like a Shangri-La beautiful. I love this part of our woods. It's just gorgeous over here. If this was my home, I might want to decorate it too. Look how it frames that section of the woods. I don't know if it's showing very good on here, but it's beautiful in person. And then down at the bottom is a creek bed, and it's dry right now. But in the spring, it runs real pretty. Yeah, right there's one of the arch, uh, breaks I showed you. The other one's down there. So, say goodbye to this one. <laughs> Move on. See what else we can find. I want to go look at the end of this arch.
Huh. I don't know. It's kind of in the ground. I don't know if it's because if it fell, if it did that, or if it's been placed that way. I just don't know. Okay, I'm going down the hill. I just want to show you what it looks like from under the arch. There's the parallel root ball tree. There's that mess. There's the one that goes in between those trees and the arch is right there. So this is what it looks like from under it. And it's actually quite awesome. 